Hey guys, welcome back to All Things Knives. It's your host, Fletcher, and today we are doing another S90V steel update. So, good news. Finally found, finally found what was going on with the S90V. I'm kind of used to a sharper working edge in terms of... Uh, the way the the knife's you know functioning so so this was a thousand grit dropped six and one micron okay used it the fine edge i found actually lasts about as long as s30v and that's probably due to the higher rockwell okay what i figured out with s90v is that it keeps kind of this duller working edge not quite I wouldn't even really call it like M4 has working edge plus. This is like working edge light. You know what I mean? Like this is the free version of working edge. You know, like it's not a, a super sharp working edge. How M4 starts razor sharp where it goes all the way down. And then it's like once you reach the working edge, it's like a restart button, right? You're like right on the edge of saving sharp and then that slowly declines. This is like you have fine edge, and then once you get to the working edge, it's almost not cutting paper, but it'll keep that for freaking ever. It'll it'll just hold that forever. Okay, so I found out that, that out the other day. This is just what I used to clean, but I, I did um I strapped this guy up after using it. Honestly, it, it I wasn't super impressed with the stropping. The ability to strop back on this guy but it does strop back so like if you're in a pinch you can strop it back and it'll get to hair shaving but it's about 70 percent of what uh the original sharpness of the edge now this sharpens actually really well it sharpens very nicely and you get a very nice fine edge it's just don't expect it to be a steel like crew wear where you you know you you get a good mix of working and fine edge and then and then the, the the working edge is super sharp or steel like M4 where it's kind of the same thing and then you strop it up and you're right back there. No, the, the I think this definitely has something to do with, I think I, if I had to guess both the higher vanadium content and the higher chromium content, if I, had, if I was a betting man. Although S30V has the same chromium content and it does just fine. So if I had to guess, it's the, the larger vanadium content, but it's like, these little teeth on there that have a hard time cutting paper, but they'll literally cut everything else. Like I was cutting tape, I was cutting boxes, and it was just working. I just didn't really have a problem with it not working. But it holds that edge. You know, it holds that duller working edge for a really long time. Holy cow. If I had to guess in terms of cardboard, this is at like 160 feet fine edge, and then it's probably at 300 and something feet working edge of just that duller working edge that will sometimes struggle to cut paper but other times it just whizzes right through it it's s90v is like an alien to me because most of what i've carried are tool steels it's like a it's like the little green man just walked off the uh the little green man just just walked off the spaceship and i'm looking it in the eye it's definitely not something i've ever encountered before on a steel but i like that it's, it's like a challenge. So this guy, uh, I'm not going to use the stropped edge just because I'm not really that satisfied with it on this guy. But it did strop and it, it'll cut. Like this is receipt paper right here. See that? It'll cut the receipt paper and then it kind of reaches a spot. So it's like, I'd say it's hair shaving-ish. So like I said, like 70% of sharpness before. I'm going to go to 600 grit. Uh, diamond plates, and we'll see how that does. I didn't really like the polished edge on this guy. Uh, it just kind of took all the teeth out of the S90V that you kind of get with a thousand grit. I want to see what 600 does. I'm really excited to see what 600 does, and I'll be doing a live later. So if you guys watch the live and then watch this, that will tell you about how far ahead I film my videos. So that, it's probably about a week, week and a half. You'll see this video after the live. But I'm sharpening this guy today. 600 grit. And uh, yeah, I, I think it's going to be really, really fun to see how 600 grit does. And now that I kind of understand how that working edge is, I'm going to take that into account on this carry. 
Um, but I think it's also something that for people who've never had an experience with S90V, it's something that they'll be able to learn too. Cause I didn't know that. And then I was talking to Gerald about it and he's like, yeah, S90V kind of does that. You know, it's kind of like S110V where it's, he said, it's not quite like S110V. Um, it, you know, it's, it's a little better, but it does keep that kind of duller, duller working edge. And it'll be interesting to see how that is on the Spyderco and the other Manly as well that um, if I'm guessing is going to be softer than this guy. Like, this is definitely an outlier. But sweet to have it under $100, 63 HRC, <laughs> S90V. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, this, this will be... Uh, Interesting to see how this goes at 600 grit. Let me know what your favorite grit progression is for S90V. Maybe if there's any other questions you have about kind of that duller working edge in terms of how it compares to a steel like M4 or crew wear. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and stay sharp.